Hi everyone, I'm Alicia from Growth Match, and today we're hearing from Kevin about how B2B companies can build effective outbound sales processes. Let's get started with a brief introduction. Can you tell us about who you are and what you specialize in? Absolutely. Yeah, my name is Kevin Hopp. Uh, I live here in sunny San Diego, California with my wife, our dog, and young, young daughter. Um, I am an outbound sales process structure and strategy consultant. So what that means is I believe in cold calling. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, you know, cold calling is not dead. It's one of the most common misconceptions. But uh, I help organizations build process and structure around how to acquire net new customers going outbound. And my, my portfolio of customers I've worked with is pretty much exclusively B2B software companies. Awesome. Thanks, Kevin. And can you tell us a little bit more about your experience working so far in outbound sales? Absolutely. So I've been going outbound since, you know, kind of day one of my career. So going on about eight years here wow. of doing outbound sales. I've been a consultant in the space working with B2B tech companies for about four years. Uh, I've worked with over 50 different organizations, built over $10 million in pipeline across these engagements. And I'm talking about some of these engagements are very short, just three months, um, but very high success rate. Um, so my experience has been working with, you know, founder driven organizations that are that are trying to say, OK, I, it's just me and a few other people in the room. How do we build something that's going to put net new customers in front of us all the way up to, you know, coaching a BDR team that has 10 to 10 to, you know, sometimes 15 BDRs and the complexity that comes with that in terms of how do we make sure that everyone's focused on the right thing at the right time? How do you enable a team like that? And, and at the end of the day, how do you produce reliable outbound pipeline? So mm -hmm. I've had a wide range of experience, but all of it's in outbound sales for B2B tech companies. That's great. And when you're working with these companies, what do you see as the most common mistake that people are making when they're building these processes? And how do you see that being avoided? Great question. So I, I would say that the uh, the most common mistake that people make is is thinking that cold calling is dead and that outbound sales is is dead or or too old fashioned to really work in 2022 or 2023. And they think that because they themselves don't take cold calls, right? Or they they delete cold emails when they get them. And sure, a lot of people do, but Sales is just as much a numbers game as it is, you know, quality and quantity is what you really need when it comes to sales. Uh, salespeople get paid for time. And I don't mean like an hourly rate, but salespeople get paid for producing X amount of revenue in Y time period. So outbound is the art and science of going and finding the right people to sell to in a given period of time. So it's kind of the opposite of inbound sales. So the biggest mistake people make is they say, oh, well, you know, it's 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 2023. We can't be doing outbound sales and cold calling. It's so disruptive. That's so, you know, archaic. But, you know, what I specialize in is making what is old new again. Taking this idea of, can I call somebody that I don't know and have a conversation about their business that would be valuable enough that they might become a customer, customer of mine? The answer is yes, right? And and I have a, an online course. I've got a, 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 you know, a number of clients I work with today and and uh, it, it really does work. You just have to lean into the methodology. That's awesome. It sounds like being able to tap into that resource is going to be really helpful for people. And when you start working with those companies, what kind of results do you achieve for them? And what is it about what you do that gets them there? Great question. So, um, the, the number one thing that people come to me for is process, structure, and strategy, right? Not not just, I, I'm not a uh, done-for-you vendor where there, there are a lot of vendors out there that promise meetings and that's what they do. You pay them X y amount of dollars, they give you X amount of meetings or Y amount of meetings, right? Like a, like a like coin-operated um, setup. I, I specialize way more in the enablement and the setup of how can you build an outbound sales engine? So that, that those are questions like, you know, how many sales reps should I hire and what should I pay them? What, what can I expect from them? I can help you answer that question. How do I enable these sales reps? What kind of technology and tools and how do I stack it all together? That technology stack and process I'm an expert in. And then tactically, when it comes to the coaching and development of, okay, I've got a technology stack, I've got people. How do I put the rubber to the road? And, you know, it's Tuesday afternoon at 1 p.m. 
what's my team supposed to be doing right now to move the ball forward incrementally, but zoom that all the way out to the big picture and, and think, what can I reasonably expect as an outbound revenue number from an outbound team? So the folks that work with me, they get the big picture all the way down to the small picture. And that's what makes me very unique. Uh, a lot of consultants will either specialize in kind of one area or the other. But if you're an early stage B2B tech company, this is my wheelhouse. This is what I've done time and time and time again. And I allow you as a founder and a founding team to really accelerate this learning curve when it comes to what works, what doesn't, and what, what's going to produce reliably. Because at the end of the day, everyone's looking for reliable production. And as I mentioned earlier, I've produced tens of millions of dollars of qualified pipelines resulted in millions of dollars in close one revenue for my clients. And a lot of that is is uh, is early stage. So the early stage wins are, are where I excel the most. That's awesome. And if somebody watching this is interested in getting those same results, how could they explore that with you? You know, reach out to me. I'm not not that hard to find. I'm one of the rare people that put my cell phone number on my LinkedIn profile. So <laughs> you can find it there. I have a website, hopconsultinggroup.com. Um, and uh, also I, I have a, a, a page, I don't know if you can see this, solo.to slash hop. We'll put a link to that under this video. You can see a portfolio of all the content I've done and, and hear kind of what I'm about and do more research on me before you reach out and engage. But also on LinkedIn, I'm big there too. So go ahead and give me a follow. Shoot me a DM. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kevin, for chatting with me today. If you are interested in connecting with him, definitely go check out his growth match profile as well, and maybe even give him a cold call. Thank you so much, Kevin. Cheers.